tough if we want to Aaron Law that was here. I kept calling the, the lawyer Aaron Law. Lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Does the lawyer work out? All right, I'd like to welcome everybody to the Board of Adjustments uh, November 24, 2015 meeting. Um, now call the meeting to order. Roll call members. Uh, my name is Brad Walker, Chairman. Uh, Mr. Devin Graham, Vice Chairman. Present. Mr. Willie Robinson. Present. Mr. Brandon Bennett. Present. Steve Joffrey. Present. And Mr. Ed Krause is not present. All right, this time I'd like to open it up for public comment period. If anybody has anything for or against to say against the Board of Adjustments, please come forward. If you're here to talk about an agenda item, uh, please hold until the agenda item. You'll have a chance to speak during the agenda item. Anybody want to come up? We've got two people in the audience, <laughs> and we have three things on the agenda, so we're missing one person. All right, closing public comment period. Do I hear an acceptance of the minutes of the October 27th, 2015 meeting? Do I hear a second? Second. All right. Got a motion by Mr. Devin, second by Mr. Willie to approve the minutes of the October 27th, 2015 meeting. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Minutes accepted. Do I hear an a motion to accept the written decisions of the October 27th, 2015 meeting? Motion. All right. Do I hear a second? No second. second. All right, got a motion by Mr. Steve, second by Mr. Brendan, uh, to accept the written decisions of the October 27th, 2015 meeting. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right, decisions accepted. All right, at this time, uh, we'll go to zoning review ID 2551.15 for portion of lot one, formerly portion of the Rosalie Santa property for Randy Gotro. Uh, located on the east side of George Lambert Road, approximately 300 feet north of LA Highway 429. Somebody here to represent this one? James Powell, you are representing uh, Mrs. Gotro. This one was brought back up. I didn't know I had to come back up for this one, but uh, it was brought back up a couple months ago, and it was approved. But the way the language was written, the ordinance was written, that they're making us do it again. But you approved it the right way, but it was written wrong or something. Is that right? Okay. Yeah, cover all the bases. Okay. Anybody got any questions? Sir? No, no sir. All right. We'll open up the public comment period. Anybody has anything for or against this variance? Please come forward. <coughs> Nobody coming up. We're closing the public comment period. <laughs> Do I hear a motion? I make a motion to accept. All right. Motion by Mr. Steve. Second by. You second? I second. Uh, I will it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh. All right. Motion passes. Next zoning review ID is 2,552.15 for lot 181 Perkins Oak Subdivision, Part 2 for Samal and Katwa, located on the west side of Red Oak Drive, approximately 1,130 feet north of Perkins Road. Is somebody here to represent this one? I am Simone Katwa. All right. Tell us um, what you're trying to do and what the hardship. I am asking for a reduction of the servitude on the back and the side of the building. It is pre-existing, and we were just misled when we built it about the zoning and permits, and I'm here to see if I can get it reduced and get the permits. Okay. Anybody have any questions? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we also, just to let the record know, we received a letter on behalf of the um, Bill Rue with the East Ascension uh, Consolidated Drainage District Number One, stating that um, that they're sending a letter of no objection for the encroachment of the structures and vegetation within the drainage servitude across the rear of the lot, and so I'm just letting you know we have that on file. For the record, any other questions? All right, have a seat. We'll open up the public comment period. If there's any public, anybody for or against this variance, please come forward. Nope, we've done heard from the two people, so now the last <laughs> one is somebody not here. All right, closing public comment period. Questions? 
question. This, <coughs> this blue line I'm looking at here, what, is that? That's not 100% accurate yeah, if it's looking sure like it's going in there. This is um, from Google Maps, and so it's not always, it's not a survey map, you know. Gotcha. Yeah. Because I've asked that before, because <laughs> it crossed across one house one time when we were looking at it, and I'm like, the okay. slides goes in another house. <laughs> so. On my paperwork, I don't, I don't have anything stating the hardship. I guess I should have asked her that while she was up. She can come back up. Yeah, okay. okay. The hardship of it. Um, they, there's a stop work order on the building, and uh, I may have to sell the building in the near future. I mean, the house mm -hmm. with the property and you know, everything, and I need to see if I could possibly get it reduced and you know, rectify the situation to where I will be able to sell, sell my home. And you said you were you were misled when y'all had built it? Uh, my husband at the time was in construction with cabinets and stuff, and he had asked some contractors about the rules and regulations, and then the only one we knew about was the rear, and what we looked at online said we were far enough off, so we built. And he came to the you know parish after they put the stop work order on it, and asked for it, and they said no, that that was an incorrect thing that was, you know, we were, that we had read. So it's a little late now, the building's up, you know, but I need to see if there's any way I can get it reduced, possibly be able to sell my home. How long has the building been there? Ooh, about five years. And he's tried several times, and it's never gone through for him, and since then, you know, me and him are long, no longer together, so. I'm just here to ask for some help. Have you tried to come in here before, Board of Adjustment? This one hasn't been before Board of Adjustments before, huh? Mr. Chairman, one time they actually had went to the parish council re to re uh, uh, remove the, revoke the servitude, but okay. was denied. Okay. That was the rear servitude? The okay. rear servitude, correct. Yeah. And on the satellite map, there is a ditch back there, or not really? Technically, rear, it's, it's known to be a, a ditch, but it's been destroyed over the years. There's really no walls to the ditch. How large is the building? It doesn't look very large from the picture. Uh, about 1,100 square feet. What am I, what am I? Is it just like a carport or something there? A garage, yes. Right. A garage? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So is it, is, it, is it attached to the home? It's got a walkway. Okay, and then on the side it's four feet because I, I think you. they yeah. got the yeah. uh, eave on the top. I got you. Because technically it's supposed to be five foot. Which one would be yeah. the difference in the house back there? I'm kind of inclined to accept it because of our hardship, but also on the on the flip side, I don't want to set precedents here for people go around start building stuff, come to a variance for because normally they would have to tear it down um, if if they built one foot from the building line without a permit or, or previous variance. So I'm kind of stuck. Well, I mean, I can see there's been. It's not right on the line, which was, uh, we've seen some that are right on the line. Mm -hmm. This one's at least four foot from the line. Mm -hmm. And it probably was meant to be five foot from the line, okay, but they forgot the eaves. I'm not sure the eave is. Well, let me put I don't, do I? I got some other pictures. So yeah, I if you can pass those, I don't have those. Yeah. I thought she was, I, I may have misread. I thought they were looking. No, no. Oh wait, one foot from the side proper line. It's the four foot variance that you're looking for. Yeah, that's that's one foot. Uh, I 
see. Um, just kind of one point, the letter that y'all had um, received from the drainage. Uh, it says that the uh, staff, uh, the parish staff for the drainage board um, evaluated this request and they determined, the reason they determined that it was okay for them to, for her to put it, a building in there is that uh, all the homes uh, along the west side of Red Oak have various structures and impediments within the same drainage servitude due to the main fact that no drainage structure was constructed within the subdivision. Um, within this servitude. So it would be almost impossible to go back and put a ditch even if they parish wanted to put a ditch. I, personally, I don't have a problem with the drainage but with this letter and the fact that I'm a picture I'm looking at the people next door look like they got to shed the same distance from the rear. I'm just concerned about that one foot on the side. It's pretty tight. <coughs> Now, I know in the past we've done some zero lot lines. But that's usually firewall and all this, but this is just this little structure in the back, isn't it? On the, the neighboring property? Yeah. But it's not touching near. I think the only part that comes close to the neighbor's property is that corner. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? The rest of that back. Oh, yeah. Adjacent is yard. I mean, it looks tight in that photo they provided. Uh, yeah, Not this one, but this one. Yeah. Yeah. It looks tight here. But that fence must be on the property line because it looks like it's a foot from the eave. Yeah. So the slabs probably must be two feet or so from the property line. Is that about where the slabs yeah, are? Lance and I actually went out and took those pictures in order for you guys to see it. Uh huh. And, um, Pending all of this, we can actually work through building code compliances to far rate that one wall that's within five feet of a property line uh -huh. in order to make that a one hour rated wall for a code. Okay. Along with the permitting process that could be handled provided he's granted this variance. And uh, there will be some penalties for double permit fees along with a $500 fine. And okay. For, for what we're here tonight to is to clear up the, the servitude, which is done by drainage, and also the rear setback and the side setback. If that can be accomplished, we could then uh, proceed to take uh, the a third party inspector's bias report and, and work within that to correct any deficiency that's in the building that doing it as it wasn't built correctly. Uh, according to the rules and regulations. So uh, just to help clear up any question that you might have pending to make a decision here. Okay. So like this wall, this is the one I think <coughs> we're concerned with. This wall right here, it That's pretty much right. just has that one window. And then we were right. talking about fire rating this wall. Even if we get the variance, you'd still have to go through the getting it firewall rated or do yeah, we have to put that in? rated up? wall, which is nothing but five, eight zip board on both sides. Okay. Which can be accomplished to, to salvage the building. Okay. But we don't have to put that in the variance as a requirement. No, no so it'd be a building code with compliance. Okay. Any other questions? Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion to accept it. I mean, it sounds like Mr. Laverne and them got it planned out on the uh, how to salvage the building and take care of all the issues. All right, do I hear a second? I'll second it. All right. Okay, can I ask a question? Mm. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is there any way, I know they have an injunction and all against this place and they had some trouble with it before. Is there any way we can make a motion Stipulate in there that it's, you know, that she must work with him. To I mean, they're gonna have to work. I mean, well, they haven't before, is what I'm saying. Um, yeah, we probably would have just tied up. We couldn't do nothing. Because but I don't think our variance is the one. That our variance is the okay. one that's helping to clear it. Okay. Like in other words, that's building permits, and that has to do with energy and the uh, meter and the stuff like that. There's okay. other ways for them to deal with it, as opposed to us. And just to be clear, I have the consent judgment here into the record. 
it says uh, until such time as the building is properly permitted and the encroachment of setback lines and drainage surfaces have been satisfactorily addressed. So tonight, the only thing before you guys is the uh, drain servitude and the setback line. So they still have to comply with the permits. With the building permit. Approval to dismiss the consent judgment. If that clears up anything. It does. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I have a motion and a second. Motion by Mr. Devin. Second by Mr. Willard. Robinson to approve as written. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? All right. Motion passes. Our last zoning review idea is 2,553.15 for lot 143 Pelican Crossing, subdivision for inline design, located on the east side of Cachuta Drive. I guess that's, <laughs> that'll be close enough. Shotter. Approximately 100 feet south of Clark Plantation Drive. Somebody here to represent? Yeah, I'm representing inline on the following variance request. We're just asking for reduction in the front building line and actually by the side as well. The uh, Usually on corner lots, they allow half the reduction in the building line, but for some reason, they're considering this a curve, even though it's an intersection of a road. So they're not, uh, we have to bring it before you for a reduction in the building line. And it says in here it's been granted in the past. Yeah. Variance has been yeah. granted in well, the past. Well, I, I think they passed an ordinance a couple years ago. Anything on a corner lot, with two fronts on two roads, they reduced one of them by lot, half. Not necessarily curve line. Yeah, I got you. But that's why I was wondering why y'all didn't ask for variance for that back and that side on yeah. that curve. Yeah. But there's in, really three streets kind of intersect right there. So really, it's one one road on this side, one road on this side. But they just curved the road instead of. So normally on this one, where the curve would be here, mm -hmm. technically you should have five. They have twenty five. For the whole thing, yeah, and that usually becomes the problem with the corner lots is that you're going to have like 25 and 20 or so on the on the, the whole corner. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so you're only asking for variance on one side. Well, it's there's no break in the curve, so right. you yeah, can't just do 25 whole. and then. Right. 15 on the side. You, it it needs to be all continuous across yeah. the whole front. And y'all already, this the home that's going to be on it? Y'all already have the plane? No, this, this could be similar to this. It's, okay. it's a little bit bigger than this. Okay. Yeah. That's what I was about to ask. Yeah. Say, it looks like you're in it. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger than this one. Okay. <clears throat> With the drainage servitude on the left side, it kind of pushes everything two and a half feet over to the right. So the variance you're looking for is on the curved. Yeah, that old mm -hmm. the 25 mm -hmm. foot across the whole front. We're, we're so looking the whole curve, y'all asking for it to 15. be reduced down yeah. to 15 feet. Mm -hmm. And the homeowners association is fine with it as well. Oh, they are. Yeah. Still going to be outside of the utility servitude. Yeah, yeah, you can have 12 foot and then three feet past that is the building line, which the house probably is going to be farther back than that. It's just it's at a convenient point. Okay. So this other little. Is that a side street? Yeah. This one right here? So the only variance no, that's for is right here. Yeah, just no on the curve. No variance here or back here. Just on the, just on the, the curve. Just yeah. the, curve. the curve. Okay. Yeah, we can't touch the drainage servitude in the back on the side. Okay. So that means it, they want to come in with it, huh? This? Yeah, because they want to see one more. Well, it didn't line. Yeah. And it's going to be pretty much even with the 15, it's still being lined with the houses next door. Yeah, but that, see, that allows them the garage to come to 15 and wherever else the house falls through. It'll probably be this point right here and this point right here that comes into the 15 feet. I mean, I mean, I'm just trying to read what they're asking about. Is it just back to the front? Well, like, this is the sidewalk. Yeah. And then oh, this is yeah. the road there. So, I mean, there's still the utility servitude still. It didn't okay. go down. They can't come into this 12-foot utility mm -hmm. servitude on that curve. Okay. How far will it be from the road? It's going to be a what road? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I don't know. I'm he, tired. He, 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 this with, this with, is the with, actual road right with here. With the width of the house, Gilligan. with the width of the house, realistically, if we redu if we reduce it to 15 foot, the front of the house is still going to be 25 feet off the front of the road because it becomes curved like that to get the the width across the front. Like I said, it still will be in line with the houses to the left of it, all gotcha. at 25 feet. It actually will set back a little bit farther than that. See, like right here, this is the 12-foot line. So they're asking for the 15 to another three feet. That's where the probably this back garage is going to be and wherever else the house falls out. Okay. And even with this variance, it's still, you said it's still in line with the other? It's actually going to be sitting back a little bit farther oh, okay. than those houses as well. What's the hardship? To get the house on the lot. The curve. Right. The, cur the, curve, the, curve, the curve's the curve's killing the the killed in the buildable area. Yeah, the curve the majority. Seems like of all the money we spent on engineering, they could have figured that out when they engineered the subdivision. That's why I'm not an engineer. Well <laughs> just saying. <laughs> I think we've made long strides in the uh, the zoning code because yeah. we used to have to get every T turn around and every um, there was something else that we used to get every one of them mm -hmm. to come here and finally got the code changed, you know, on the T turnarounds and stuff where they right. adjusted the uh, building lines around a T turnaround so that you can actually use the yeah. land around it. Same, they just haven't really done it on the corners. All right, let me open it up for co public comment period. <laughs> We have anybody for or against public comment period? There's nobody else in the audience, so we're closing the public comment period. Oh, wait, there is somebody over there. I don't think he wants to speak tonight. All right, uh, closing public comment period. Do I hear a motion? I'll make a motion. So approve the request as written. All right. Do I hear a second? A second. All right, got a motion by Willie, a second by Brendan. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I was reading it. <laughs> Aye, I'm sorry. I'm, all right. I was still, I'm still reading it. I thought I was sorry. fixing to break a tie here. All right, motion approved. Thank you. All right, any old business? Yes, nope. Sir. Any new business? We have one new business. And that is to announce that, that we are, um, there have been no items for the December meeting, so we are canceling the December meeting. So Board of Adjustments would not have a December meeting. Christmas oh, vacation. Okay. So y'all enjoy y'all Thanksgiving yeah, and Merry and Christmas, 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 Christmas and Happy New Year. Okay, so I won't see y'all until then either. Oh, man. Um, and so and then when we come back in January, if we have any items, we'll vote on a chairman and vice chairman. <laughs> we can vote now. Also, remember out there, we are looking for one more member. We are down one member, so if you'd like to apply, contact. Do what? She advertised, but we hadn't heard anything yet. Okay. We all contact the parish. Um, talk to Patrice or Lance at the uh, building department. Right. Playing and zoning. All right. Do I have a motion to adjourn? Motion. All right, motion by Steve. Second. Willie. 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 All, right. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Aye. Good job.